How is Spain turning its desert into a farmland oasis? Climate change has a wide-ranging impact on many different areas, with up to 75% of Spain at risk of becoming a desert. Increased CO2 levels in the atmosphere, traffic-related emissions, soil pollution, and subsequent loss of agricultural capacity and landscapes, as well as loss of biodiversity and ecosystems, are all interconnected issues related to climate change. Decertification of places that once supplied vital functions in terms of carbon sequestration, food production, and landscape conservation is one of the most damaging repercussions of climate change. So how can tree planting projects, like this one in Spain, assist to solve these issues? And how can creative planting techniques properly restore some damaged sites? To find out, watch the video till the end. Welcome back to our channel, Circle of the Earth where we explore everything about reforestation, decertification, and greening projects. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Spain has a land area of 500,000 square kilometers, which is comparable to the size of the state of California in the United States. They also have similar climates, which are classified as Mediterranean. This climate is characterized by warm to hot summers with little rainfall and short, mild winters with sporadic rainfall. The Tabernas Desert, known as mainline Europe's only desert, is located in the southeastern province of Almeria in Spain. Surprisingly, scientific study shows that Spain will become entirely decertified in the next 80 years. Currently, 31.5% of Spain is decertified and 18% is on the verge of becoming irreparably desert. This is because of rising temperatures and a 23% decrease in rainfall during the last 30 years. As the European Court of Auditors ECA, noted in its report, combating decertification in the EU, increased temperatures, droughts, and less precipitation have made Southern Europe vulnerable to problems such as lower food production, soil infertility, decreases in the land's natural resilience, and reduced water quality. The Iberian Peninsula, which covers the whole of Spain and Portugal, was previously covered with old oak woods, which were completely deforested during the last centuries for lumber and animal grazing. For many years, overwatering of rice fields and olive trees has resulted in the severe water shortages in the Guadalquivir River Basin. If sea levels rise and salt in the water mixes with it, the problem of water scarcity and land loss in coastal areas could worsen forest fires. Desertification is currently caused by the loss of soil fertility from irrigated land due to salinization and erosion. Soil production will be reduced as a result of climate change because carbon will be removed, making it less productive. The Mediterranean region is one of the most vulnerable to land degradation because of climate change. By 2050, Madrid's climate will resemble that of modern-day Marrakesh if carbon emissions continue to occur. If the world does not work together to reduce CO2 emissions in the next 11 years, the Earth will be 2 to 2.5 two degrees hotter within a few decades. According to experts from the European Environmental Agency, the average temperature in Madrid would rise by 2.1 degrees Celsius in that case, with maximum temperatures rising by 6.4 degrees Celsius. According to official 2008 projections, precipitation in parts of Spain might drop by more than 40% during the summer months by the end of the century, leading to more extended and extreme droughts across Spain and putting at least 74% of the country at risk of decertification. Tree planting can help overcome these issues, and innovative planting techniques are required to properly regenerate some dry areas. So how can Spain achieve this? Spain has made some impressive restoration progress, transforming significant regions of deserts into productive land. Given that Spain's semi-arid regions receive only 11 inches of rain per year, this shift is amazing. Several initiatives have ensured new trees were planted all over Spain. As part of the Life Plus The Green Deserts Initiative, which was carried out in partnership with the European Commission's Environmental Life Program, new trees were planted in Spain. The plant cocoon technology was used to plant trees on 63 hectares in the provinces of Valladolid, Leon, Zamora, Zaragoza, and Barcelona. The plant cocoon is a gadget that helps with the growth of trees in dry environments. 
Peter Hoff, a former flour exporter from the Netherlands, designed and developed it, and it won the Popular Science Green Tech Best of What's New Innovation of the Year Award in 2010. The plant cocoon is a polypropylene bucket with a lid. In the center, there is a vertical tube for two plants. Water from inside the box can drip into the ground by capillary action thanks to a wick. The device imitates the insulating effect that bird feces have on seedlings. Due to the lotus effect, the box's lid is covered in microscopic papillae, which provide a super hydrophobic surface. Even the tiniest amount of water is funneled through siphons in the box center reservoir by the lid. Another company that also uses the plant cocoon technology is Land Life Company. This is a global company with operations in more than 20 countries. However, in recent years, Spain and the Greater Mediterranean have become a key project area. They were able to plant 660,000 trees in Spain by December 2019. They've been working closely with regional governments, local partners, and surrounding communities in order to achieve this. Land Life Company, in collaboration with other partners, seeks to reduce future forest fire risk by planting a variety of plants that have been shown to improve a forest's fire resistance. They construct an early warning detection system that uses satellite photos to identify high-risk locations once the planting is completed. Another local initiative is run by Fernando Batista, a biologist, and Augustin Bernejo, a farmer, called the Alvalal Project. Their activity is part of a large-scale Green Belt initiative that began in 2016 with the goal of creating a network of connected woods that would stretch hundreds of miles over Spain's south. Alvalal, the nonprofit behind the effort, has looked into similar projects in Kenya, the Sahel, and elsewhere. Alvalal is one of those unique projects you hear about but never actually see. Until now, Alvalal has begun actively restoring natural zones on the famous La Muela Mountain by planting 50,000 native drought-resistant plants. Since 2017, 149,000 trees are planted, more than 200 farmers are participating in landscape restoration, and 10,000 acres are under improved regenerative management. By 2034, their goal is to establish a regenerative environment, one in which nature and agriculture coexist with the people who live and work there. In all, by 2022, all these different initiatives have planted 107 million new trees in Spain. With all of these beautiful projects going on, we are sure many more will be planted in the future. That's all for today's video. Do let us know in the comments below if you like this video. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified on every new video from our channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.